Hey guys, how's it hanging? My name is Austin Plays, and today I have another Transformers video for you guys today. Today I have another Transformers Studio Series video for you guys today. Today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers uh, Studio Series uh, the uh, Voyager class uh, Rampage from um, uh, from Revenge of the Fallen. My mind broke there for a second. Uh, on camera, he looks red, but I can say in person, he is more like an orangish red. Like a reddish orange, I guess. Uh, has three, uh, has three wheels. Uh, two on the back and one front. The front one can move up and down. Nice molding on the treads going along, uh, the side of it. Um, the front, and also all the, like, the inner workings as well, making it look like it's not like a robot but it's actually a truck except on the back you can obviously see the tail and if you flip it around on the bottom you can clearly see the head and neck right here but for a size comparison we'll bring in the two that we've actually already taken a look at uh because i thought eh why why my uh why must i do something random uh i'm gonna be doing his brother the constructor card the uh two that we've already taken a look at so here we have Hightower next to Rampage. Uh, Size-wise, uh, he is a deluxe, so it doesn't really fit. But I get where they're going. And we will bring, now we can move him and bring in Scrap Metal. Again, still on the kind of the same uh, side with Hightower. Uh, Hightower and him work great together because they would be the same size in real life. But this guy, uh, not so much because this is meant to be like a smaller one. Compared to these, but I digress. But we can go ahead and get into uh, transformation. Take the treads, pop these out, and then remove this. You can go ahead and do this now if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, take uh, the, reach down here underneath here and flip out uh, the uh, fourth stability stand so he can actually stand. Uh, you can fold this in if you want. I normally do. Uh, you can fold on the wheel. And now just kind of start unpegging and un, like un like frictioning, I guess, things around. Also, uh, real quickly, uh, this you can move this up, and so it'd be like that. Uh, unpeg, un yeah, unpeg here and move these out. Fold down the like peg, like the his tail, flip him up, fold down the arms, T uh, turn them like this, I think, uh, move his arm around, do the exact same thing on this side, drop this down, fold this, fold this piece around, and then fold this around here as well. Come on, here we go. Fold up the fingers. Kind of get everything kind of straightened out. Personal preference, I tend to like give them like a bit of like hunched over a bit. Take the stand, step down, and then you can go ahead and plug him in here. Again, uh, straighten things out. Get them how you want them. And here we have Rampage, uh, out of his rubber mode, uh, yeah, out of his vehicle mode, and into his rubber mode, and looking, uh, really, really, overall, this guy is a good figure, honestly, um, uh, possibility wise uh, head is on a pivot, right in here, head is on a ball joint and a swivel, waist on a very tight ratchet joint, but that is be but, but that is for the Studio Series Devastator, which all of these guys are, I am working towards. I am working, uh, getting all of the Constructicons and making Devastator. And that will be a, probably an hour long video in and of itself. Uh, arms can move like in and out. Uh, uh, moves up at the shoulder, rotates just below the shoulder. Uh, no, um, like elbow. Uh, all fingers are kind of posable. 
they are all posed by themselves. The ch the like the whips are also posable as well. Uh, not uh, you kind of bend below the the waist and knock out the feet because he doesn't have any. And now for a size comparison, we can bring in a another one a, bro a brother of his, scrap metal, which. Uh, I know that Scrap Metal is a deluxe class, but uh, these two, based on how I have him, having like a hunch, hunchback, um, he looks about the same size. But if I were to straighten him out, it's not that much better, but he is a bit bigger. Uh, and just because it is a Voyager, I'm going to be bringing in another Voyager. One that I pretty much refuse to transform because I like it how it is. And it'll be going on my display like this. Uh, Transformers uh, last night, Voyager class Scorn. I believe that's his name. I have to hold hit. I have to hold these guys here because there's not enough room on the little thing. But overall, yeah, uh, it's a really good figure, and I really do uh, like it. I really do like it, and again, if you couldn't uh, get it back when the movie first came out, these uh, all of the studio series are a good like alternative, like, especially some that never when the movie came out never actually got a release, uh, like a proper release, I guess. Um, gonna go through some of them: uh, Lockdown, Cogman, um, Lockdown, Cogman, uh, the Constructicons. That's another one. Um, uh, sh uh, yeah, Shatter, Optimus, uh, and Stinger. That's another one. Um, all those never really got a proper release. Or Optimus Prime, I forgot about him. Uh, they never got a proper release. They might have in another country, but never they did in the U.S. But, I digress. But if you really want to pick these guys up, Honestly, go go ahead, go for it. These guys are amazing, and these will be going on multiple displays. I can fit Scorn in on multiple. I can fit these guys, and I can fit him in multiple. Uh, I can fit all of the studio series that I currently own in a display in and of themselves, which I am very happy for because I can. Uh, I will like. If you search up trans theories on YouTube, you can find a guy who does Transformers related theories, so like what if scenarios. So honestly, I highly recommend go checking them out. Um, and yeah, this will do it for this video. I know it was kind of short, but I did not have the box to go over, unfortunately, because I have misplaced it again. But uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do the good things you guys always do. Uh, down in the comment section down below, tell me, out of all the figures that we have taken a look at, go back to the playlist if you need to, and pick out one that you find that was like, Mwah. that was like, Mwah. like, the masterpiece of all these. Uh, me, personally, I would have to honestly go with probably Megatron. Um, specifically the, uh... Specifically the, um, the third one. Specifically the third one. Being that long tanker truck. Kind of taking a, taking a page from Optimus Prime. But, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And so you can join the Werewolf Pack, because we're all just a big happy family here. I know all, all the YouTubers say this, say it, but we all be... We are the pack that will take over YouTube. Let's go. Uh, but, <laughs> as I am getting off topic a lot, but I, I love you guys. You guys, honestly, the reason I do YouTube is so I can connect with you guys, basically. I make videos. You guys tell me what you don't like, what you want, what you like, what you don't like, etc. And I will adjust to you guys. You guys kind of control this. Um, but I will be doing some videos that I personally like uh, around, but I have rambled enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.